Hello, my name is Vos Yosef and I am Mr. Musette. This time I prepared a new video creating a new illustration from the Romanian Traditions series. The main idea of this series is that in each month I choose a Romanian tradition and I try to illustrate it in my style. In January I illustrated the Romanian God Dance, in February the Romanian Valentine's Day which is called Dragobete and last month I illustrated the Mărțișor which represents the coming of the spring. At first I didn't really knew what I will choose for this month. Initially I wanted to make an illustration for the Easter but then I realized that most of the Romanian people are Orthodox and this year they are celebrating the Easter only in May. So the Romanian Easter is one month apart from the Catholic Easter. And I didn't really want to make a religious illustration for this series at all. So I made a search on the internet for the Romanian traditions held in April and I found out that on the 23rd of the April it's the Saint George's Day and I decided to go with this one. The short version of Saint George's Day is Saint George in Romanian and is an ancient holiday well known in the past throughout Transylvania on the Saint George's Day of course. Today only the villagers from Straja, Henning and Limba keep this tradition as they used to. It is practiced on the April 23rd and has as main elements of the ceremony the water and a green mask. The scenario is unitary regardless of the name. In the morning of St. George a group of five or seven boys roam the village along the St. George which is the young man who is wrapped in green branches. The masked or the wrapped in branches boy is watered with a lot of water at every household wherever they stop and they ask for eggs and bacon. At the end it is taken to a fountain where it is again watered with a few buckets of water. All this ceremony makes a lot of noise and is accompanied by a whistle and at the end they are cooking a large omelette with the eggs and the bacon. This tradition takes over ancient elements prior to the Christianity and it is in the memory of the Saint George who was the holy warrior who killed the dragon that threatened the world. For people, however, Saint George is also the one who makes a new stage of the spring and is said that in April he beats the forest with fire to make it flourish and gathers the clouds and shakes them for the spring rain to give the soil moisture. So here comes the water element in all the story as they say that on this day is necessary to sprinkle people, animals and household objects with water. This specific uh, tradition was kind of new for me as well even if it's hold these days in the region where I was born. I didn't to really heard about it, maybe because I was born in a city and not at the countryside. But for me the more interesting part in these stories are the symbols and the elements in which they were believing. And this is why I like to illustrate this kind of stories. 
So for the illustration I decided to draw this young boy who is covered in green branches and he's staying in front of a fountain because this is an element of this tradition. This time I used the Van Gogh watercolor set which is the muted colors. I like these watercolors a lot and I was thinking to buy some other new colors but then I was thinking that maybe I should use the art supplies that I already own because now I have a few watercolor sets and I don't need to buy new ones. I love these watercolors because they are very pigmented and you don't need to use too much pigment from the pen. And they are very good quality, even professional quality watercolors. The thing which I would do it differently if I would need to redraw this illustration are the colors of the leaves. I am sorry that I didn't use a sap green, but at the end, after I finished the illustration and I let it rest for a day, I am fine with it. And I am definitely will not remake it only because I didn't use a different kind of green. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about the end result. And if you find it interesting, this Romanian tradition. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, you can find me on all my social medias, which are linked in the description of the box. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time. Until then, do not forget, life is a song, illustrate it.